What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix errors on the Future Restore application created by Timstar. Now, Future Restore is an application for downgrading your iOS version to whatever you want as long as you have the SHSH2 blobs. Now, uh, Future Restore that I'm running right here is the latest version, unfortunately only available for Linux and Mac for the moment, but there is a problem with the macOS latest version. As you can see, when you try to load it, it shows this. DYLD library not loaded opt local lib libcrypto 100.dylib. This is what the problem is. And um, apparently when I, uh, when I saw first time this problem, I went to the source code and fortunately enough, it was exactly what I thought it will be. A missing dependency. Well, it's not missing, I have it installed, but my computer and probably your computer if you're here, installs it in a different place. So let me show you how you can fix this and make Future Restore work. Well, you're going to need to follow up these things, so I'm going to make the uh, terminal a little bit bigger so that you can see it perfectly, like this. And follow my commands. Now, the first one is Xcode select install. We're going to Xcode dash select double dash install. Now, I already have this installed, so it will tell me that I do have it installed, but in your case, it will start pouring down text until it installs. So as you can see, command line tools are already installed in my case. Now, make sure you have Homebrew installed. If you don't, the command is in the description. And uh, after you install Homebrew, or if you have it installed, follow this command, brew, like this, install curl and it will try to install curl. In my case, probably it's already installed. Uh, yes, curl is TAG only, and another version is linked to OPT. So it's already installed in my case. In your case, you can do this, if you see this, force, and it will force the new version. Like this, curl is installed in my case. So um, the next one after you install curl would be libzip. We're going to install all the dependencies because we need to do so. And it's already installed in my case. In your case, we'll start to install if you don't have it. And the final one we need to install is OpenSSL itself. In, in uh, this case, OpenSSL is the one that gives you all these errors. I do have it installed as well, it's just not in the correct place. So as you can see, it's already installed, I just wanted to make sure. Now the important part, ln, s, and follow this path, usr, uh, local, opt, openssl, and the name of the file, sorry, lib, and the name of the file, hmm, lib crypto, I think. Uh, libcrypto.1.0.0.dylib and I'm going to put it in uh, usr local lib do this then you need to follow the same command on the same path but with another dylib or dynamic link library and this one is called libssl okay Oh, sorry, wrong uh, file name, libssl.1.0.0, like this. And the file already exists. Now, the final one you need to do, ln s, usr, local, seller, openssl, 1.0.2, g, bin, open SSL and open SSL with a space between them. Hit the enter key. In my case, the file already exists because I already did it, but I'm going to close the terminal now and I'm going to try to load future restore and you will see it will try to load normally. So uh, future restore, macOS, 
there you go. No more errors. You can use Future Restore with no problem. It's the version 90, the latest version available from Teamstar, and you can start using it. Now, keep in mind that I'm going to make a tutorial on how to use Future Restore to downgrade uh, in the future, but um, I'm not going to do it right now because it's still buggy and it's still not available for Windows. And if I made a tutorial, probably a lot of people will start uh, saying that they want it for Windows and it's not available for Windows. And on a Mac, it's still, as you can see from this video, pretty damn buggy. The application does work, a lot of people restored with it, but unfortunately it's not completely foolproof and I'm very afraid that some of you will use it and will break their devices and bash me for that. So I'm not going to, to make a tutorial right now. I do get a lot of requests, but I'm going to make a tutorial when it will be stable enough. So please bear that in mind. I do have that in, um, in the schedule, but not for the moment as it's still not completely uh, fail-proof. So this is how you fix that uh, annoying error. If you have any error related to device, make sure you connect your device before opening the app. I happened to get an error related to device not found, error code 3. And you just need to connect your device to USB in normal mode and restart um, future restore and it will work like this. So yeah, this is basically it guys. If you want, you can subscribe to my channel. It's available in the description down below, the, um, my secondary channel. You can subscribe to this one as well. This is the iOS channel. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give this video a thumb up. If you don't give it a thumb down, tell me in the comment section down below if the fix worked for you and peace out.